welcome back to TTL. Today's tip is gonna be all about turning a white background into a mid-gray and turning it completely black. A lot of people are under the impression that you have to have a ton of power to get a completely white background, which is also known as high key. A lot of people think that you need to have a black background so that you can get an all black background. Well, I'm gonna show you today that you can use a white vinyl background, not only to turn it white, which is high key, but to go to a middle gray and to go to low key, which is black. And all this is gonna be varied by aperture. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate how to get an all white background. I've already metered the lights. All of the lights meter at F8. A lot of people are under the impression you have to blow the, the background out. Well, if you blow the background, you're gonna get what's called spill onto your subject. This light in front of us is not being fired. It's only being used as a video light. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate it by taking a picture of my white background, metered at F8, and then you'll be able to see that on the screen. When it comes up, you're gonna see that it's an all white background. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get a middle gray. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by turning down the lights, metering them so that I get a middle gray. All right, so what I did is I used my light meter and I brought my lights down approximately two, two and a half stops to get me a middle tone gray. And basically what I do is I go to the backdrop and what I do is I meter each light separately. So I would turn this light off and meter this one only. When I popped it, it gave me 2.8. 2.8 here in the corner, 2.8 in this corner, and right around here it gave me 3.2. Light is cumulative. So when I bring this other light in, after metering it at 2.8, 3.2, I use the dome out. And what I do is I pop the lights together, which you probably won't see on the video, and it gave me F4. So I'm still at F8, my shutter speed is still 1 100th of a second, and I'm still at ISO 200. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and take a picture of the backdrop, and you'll see on your screen, when it comes up, that it's a middle tone gray. And you'll see on your screen now how it's a middle gray. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to turn it to black. To show you that is I'm gonna turn off my lights. Say for instance you had a subject. The light to your subject's left or right is not gonna have an effect on your background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights. This light's gonna stay on just for video purposes but you're gonna see that I'm gonna be able to get a completely black background. Most of the lights are turned off except for the hair light, but the hair light is gonna just stay on just for video purposes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and take a picture of the background and I'm gonna show you that it's just gonna be a complete black. And you'll see on your screen as it comes up that we've got black. If you don't have a light meter, the way you're gonna do this is just by using the histogram in your camera. You don't wanna go all the way to 255, which would be complete white with no detail. You want to be somewhere to the right of the 255, which gives you a complete white background. And then for middle gray, you're gonna to wanna to turn down your lights until you get to that middle gray tone. And you'll be able to see on your histogram because you have those um, lines that show you where middle gray is, where 255 is, and where zero is. Um, the last shot is black, and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have black, but it's not so far pushed to the left that it's zero, so that you have no detail in the black. So you still wanna have some detail, but you don't wanna have complete detail because then you start getting into different shades of gray from black all the way through white. So I've shown you today how you can turn a completely white background into middle tone gray and black just by varying the power on your lights. They don't have to be studio strobes. They can be speed lights in a soft box. They just have to have an even dispersion of light onto the background so that you get a completely white background and there's no grays on the edges or grays in the middle or some type of gradient. It's just all white. And then you saw on the gray one, I apologize, my backdrop has been through a lot, but you were able to see that it turned gray. And then on the last one, you see that it turned black. Thank you very much for joining us for this tip on TTL. Check back with us frequently because we'll have other tips that we're gonna be recording.